Give me one shots. Modules aren't that fun for me because I have to pay for them. Ah. It's like Fifteen dollars a module. Damn. And it's not even guaranteed to be fun. That is true. All right, we're recording. Scar, behave yourself. Omni, behave yourself even more. No. <laughs> Fine. Uh, oh, wait, was, we already hmm. hit the 22 mark. Right, we'll just, uh, I'll worry about it later. I can't find the one with the actual fights. It's the episode 13 and the actual fights. The, and the fights are boring because guess what got cut out of the entire thing? The fights? The music! Oh, well, I was scrolling through the video and it, like, the map didn't even change, so... It didn't. For oh, that's a great. very long period of time. Yeah. A lot of it was seated in the mind. Well, I mean, like, I'm checking the end of the video to make sure, like, where we're at, where we are now, and we're not. Oh, wait, are you scrolling well, on I'm... your phone or on the computer? It was on my phone. On the phone, it doesn't update that well. It's an expensive phone, too. That makes me sad. It's, it's, not, uh... it's nothing to do with the phone. It's everything to do with YouTube's algorithm stuff. Is Gluck going to be with us today? Blame. No. No. Anime no. gone. Okay. I gotta like I was last week. I gotta Hopefully he who, has more money than I did. Because <laughs> I was stupid. I gotta remember the inner is gonna be slow when my cousins are here. It's gonna be slow because it's a cloudy day, too. No. Things I didn't do. Alright. Hey, Scar. And Omni, if you're up for it. And wait if he actually has plus or not. What's with the wrench symbol? What? What's with that wrench symbol on Arisus? Mm hmm. That was for something else. But I can't. You're part robot now. You're part robot. I am fused with the computer! I completely forgot what I was going to ask. Uh, something about PlayStation Plus. Yeah. The required PlayStation Plus. Is Elder Ring 4 player or 3 player? It's 3 player. The 4th player is always going to be an invader. Okay. Actually, I don't think Wade has the time tomorrow. Or do you have the time tomorrow to play? I work tomorrow. Damn it. Oh, guys... I'm glad I got that out of the way. You guys... <laughs> <laughs> Plus, the... Elden Ring is not... Plus, Elden Ring isn't cross-platform. No, but we're doing it on PlayStation. It's cross-platform between PS5 and PS4. Me and Scar played together, and he has yeah. a PS4. Yes, and I have a Series S. Oh, nice. you got it on that. Oh, okay. Yes, and I have a Series S. The only reason I had to get it on that is because I couldn't find a fucking PS5 anywhere. Mm. Still can't find a PS5 anywhere. Well, actually, they're pretty easy to find. I, uh... My buddy just opened a gaming store the Friday we the left. The Series town. S is easier to find. It is he easier is, to find for me. He is not only because they in, sell them at my work. within the weekend. <laughs> this conversation has gone extremely negative. Yep. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh look, you got an inverse. Yes, yes, I did. I'm counting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on me. Roll me ten more, so Steve can even up your luck, and I mean that. Okay. Uh. I <laughs> One. Two. Oh shit. Three. Four. He's making five, a face. Five. Six. Seven. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Damn, 10 off. 10. There you go. Your luck is now even. <laughs> uh. I don't want it to be high. <laughs> you don't want it to be too high because a high on the 5100 could be very bad on some things. True.
There, it's so easy. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Road Home Session 14. I am your DM, Zikiroi, and I am extremely tired, but I will introduce my players now. Say hi as I say your name. Welcome, Bo and Terra, playing Aritas. Yo. Welcome, Omni Slaughter, playing Fionan, the elf boy. Praise the sun. And welcome, Evil King Scar, playing his barbarian dragon boy Scar. Excuse the unoriginality. Ready for some mischief! Yeah, welcome back to this homebrew nonsense that I have made a long time ago. That I am excited to finish because I have a lot of exciting points, but right now, today is just not the day. <laughs> today is the day. Today is the day we finally go into battle. You guys were doing literally three hours of battle last session. He's the barbarian. Yeah. He wants more. Which we're about to finish up. Uh, why is this labeled nice attacker when this doesn't sound nice? Uh, yeah, screw it. I'll figure that out. But you guys are officially moved into your next round of... This map. Here we go. Ooh, pretty. Son of a bitch. Yes. Boop. Boop, I gotta open another sheet. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna be seeing what I have on the DM screen. On the video, because I cannot be bothered to open up everything else. Uh-oh. Not you guys, <laughs> but the stream. Or not the stream, but the video. God oh, damn it. Did we just lose somebody? We. We. Well. Did we lose somebody? Oh. I just heard the do 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 thing. Okay. I, that I, sound is I thought I couldn't hear anybody anymore. That sound is forever glitched on any of my computers, guys. I can no longer hear the noise that Discord makes. Uh, I have no idea if I accidentally deleted it from the package or something else happened. <sighs> oh, so basically you're stuck in Perma Robot? What? That's not what I was <clears throat> even saying. And there we go. GM layer, put over here. Oop. There she is. There we go. All of you guys are dropped into a new whatever arena. You guys are surrounded by swirling space and stars. You guys are on floating platforms, and as you guys land on this platform, it's bouncing. And over here on this platform over here, you see Annika smiling at all of you. And our next and last match begins. Everyone, please roll initiative. Remember to click on your character token before you roll initiative. There we go. Damn! You definitely want that first date. <laughs> I guess. Give it a moment. There we go. Funny. Real direction. Real quick, I would just like to say something, though. Mm hmm. I just look over at Annika. What I understand is that I'm about to pound you so hard that Scar here is going to be jealous. Hey! <laughs> After hearing her personality and you say, oh my. Oh boy! <laughs> so, can you please click compel duel? <laughs> <laughs> Before it even starts. <laughs> did you just did you just threaten to? Uh, you know what? I'm keeping a PG-13. I'm not even gonna say what I'm about to say. 
<laughs> and not even have her fucking sheet open yet either. <laughs> okay, out of character. The context is I was basically trying to quote Vegeta from DZA. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was that's what I figured. Got it. Uh, she has a plus five to her save. Yeah. I'll do so hard, Krillin will be jealous. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's just going to be going after Aritus for her spells. I'm sorry if you end up falling unconscious right away. Uh, I mean, he did. Pretty it's fine. To assault her. <laughs> that was ju that was just an that was just an unintended consequence. <laughs> Worth it though. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I mean, at least it got a good laugh out of Omni. Scar, Hook me guess? up. What's my dex? Yeah. It is... Your dex modifier. Or 8. 28. Yeah, Glock beats you. Alright, and then Annika is going to remain at 0. Annika in this form, she doesn't have very much. Give me a sec, I'm doing some other things too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and Sky, remember what I told you? Why do I imagine Hibiki just face palming at that? Wait, don't <laughs> That's our uh, things kick in? They like the priority of the dragon and stuff like that? No, I told you from the other sessions they do not kick in. Okay. Yep. That's why I didn't but say nothing. Remember what I told you, Scar? Did you roll it or no? Uh please roll uh, it. No, I haven't rolled it. What am I rolling again? Intelligence check, please. An intelligence check, okay. And I'm gonna open up the DMs so I can send you a message depending on what you get for this. Seven! Never mind, I'm not gonna be sending you anything. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so, I know she's a polymorph dragon. Were we ever told what kind? She's pink. Pink. Which further confuses you. You see, yes, what she's it does. Done. She, you've seen what she's done, but you don't know her full capabilities yet. Yeah, I also didn't even realize pink dragons were a thing. <laughs> They're not. No, that's yeah. Okay, that explains everything. Remembers pink cloud that said. To I was going to say, I don't think they stairs. existed back in Octoven. Well, she no, well, no, no, not in that one. They don't even exist by regular D and D standards unless there is a pink dragon. I know there's a I know there's a crypt ton of other dragons like the gemstone dragons, but I can't remember from worth a shit what they all do. But I managed to guess the diamond one correctly, which is hilarious. Uh, it's from. I mean, there's also Denver steel dragons, Denver. which are very interesting lore wise. No, oh, but I don't know most of the dragons because I don't want to buy all the books. It just says very, very, very rare species of chromatic dragons. Okay. So there are pink dragons, okay. E. Just extremely fucking rare. They probably don't exist in my same context, then, though. No. As if you guys have already... Well, Aritas knows more about it, because he's read up. Well, actually, he's read her diary, <laughs> which is available to the public, which is hilarious. Why is her diary available to the public? She donated it. What? But, 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 like, why would you donate your diary to the public? You think dragons gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for Apparently the not. Most dragons don't give a shit. As long as you don't steal from the horde, they don't give a fuck. This one would work, I guess. I mean, kind of. Turn that down because it's a bit too loud. Or is it too quiet? That's yeah, fine. Alright, Farron, and you up first. What do you do as I zoom in? Uh oh. I'm very, oh, we're starting now. I'm very okay. sorry to any spoilers that are happening on screen right now because of GM shit. 
movement. Oh boy. 30. Oh, but I can fly too. Hmm. Uh. You know what? Might as well just test. I'm gonna guess this isn't gonna work well at all, but just to see. Let's go with. Okay. Oh, I just realized she has direct line of sight with me. Oh, I should check that. Where am I? Seeing? Okay, cool. Yeah, and I'm not. I suppose we'll go with a classic. Boop. Ah, uh, yeah, three's fine. Boop. Just to see if fire works. <laughs> And I am going for a direct hit. So your fireball goes on top of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay! As you that, point uh... your finger out over here, something warps in a dimension, so fireball goes off on top of you. It's only when you point your finger out here. Man! Glad I'm a follower of Sienna and Ed. <laughs> Everyone else is unaffected, Glock is outside of range. I think. All right. So that's not gonna. Twenty um, foot radius. It's... Twenty foot radius. Twenty foot radius. Shit, Glock gets oh, it. Shit. Never mind. I get hit. I can make it there. Scar, you, you're immune to fire. Like regular right, fire well, that comes from him. Yes. yes. Okay. So uh, I'm going to fly my ass right up here, or try to. Do I get hit by an invisible wall? You are now over here. What the fuck? All right. It's again, as soon as you touch this greenish white space. Hmm. Well, that was all my movement speed. So yeah, this is it. Omni's Wait. first go with dimensional magic that is happening around in the field. <laughs> Bonus action time if I have any that are going to help with this. The answer is probably no. Do I see? It? Are, are there plants in here? No. Actually, yeah. wait. No, there is one patch of grass over here. No, well, that's not gonna help me. Yeah. That's instant. I don't think I can do that right now. Uh. That's a reaction. Oh, I guess I just do this. On myself. Because I am confused. Okay. I'm not even sure if that came through, but whatever. I... Did... I... Uh, what? Heard something. I, I heard something say Fearden. See if it goes better as well. One fear none. Yes. <laughs> What was- what was that? It's a round counter that I have on my phone. I wish I could do it for a computer, uh. but it won't work. Okay. Turn. It's now Glock Facemaster's turn. Since you went that way, he's gonna go the other way. And he ends up over here. So it's a puzzle on top of a fight. Yep, fucking okay. Yeah, it's a gimmick fight. I am getting Final Fantasy XIV raid vibes from this, and I do not appreciate it! Glox has 67 feet of movement, so he's gonna experiment for you guys. This sends him over here. Okay, so northern edge of the grass plateau. So yeah, go the way Glock went, and then north. Glock is now And present. I gotta figure out how to go back. Glock is now present. Glock goes to punch Annika. With gloves of tremor. Everyone, please roll 1d6. It's gonna affect us even though we're not on the same platform. Facial magic. Of course I get a 5. Oh yeah, Glock also has to roll for himself. <laughs> Art just got 6. Oh, everyone got a different number. That's fucking funny. 
We got the whole fucking... We, we got them all except four. Okay, so Glock and Scar both take... Where's the fucking thing? Jesus! Oh, Jesus. Take a fucking multitude of damage. They oh, take, no. They only take the two 12s because it's not not critical. It's a 29. So in total, 24. Minus 24. And Annika also minus 24. The strength save there. That's for the ground. If oh. he punches the ground. Okay. Glock doesn't know what's happening, so Glock is going to throw another punch. That's it. Alright, everyone roll 1d6 once again. Yeah. This is for Glock. How did Scar God damn get it. the same fucking number? Uh, uh, bad luck. Oh, I rolled. I rolled a three. So <laughs> same Arches number again. So again. both Glock and Arita's get a six. Fjernan got a three, and then Annika got a two, which means both Fjernan and Scar take. God damn it. I'm sorry. Wait, the Sanctuary pop for that? I guess this, no, it's an AoE. This is a weird type of AoE because it's spatial magic. Okay. So I'm also 29. 29. If the warded creature makes an attack or casts a spell, okay, so the spell doesn't end. I just take damage. How much do I take? Uh, twenty-nine. Ugh. Rude. Okay. Glock also has bonus. Glock is not going to use bonus because he felt the hurty. Yeah. <laughs> Glock is gonna end his turn there. Scott, it's now your turn. What do you do? I'm going to take 20 feet in my moment to go to the space. Okay. The Oop. Then you're there. That's 20 okay. feet. Uh. Take <laughs> 10 more feet and go to the next space. And you're now there. And the. Uh, I find it funny that a physical grid is a lot more helpful than a digital one for me. What the fuck? Oop. I'm gonna rage. And we're gonna do some fun. Let's do... Is that hit? Yes. And I will do the necrotic damage to her. Alright, everyone please roll 1d6 because I wanted to get the damage rolled beforehand. Two, four, three, four. Okay. I was going to say, I thought that was my color, and I thought, what the fuck? Wait, no, it's two, <laughs> four, four. Because that would have been fucking hilarious if I got three in a row. Alright. Artis, Scar, Glock, I'll take the 18 slashing, not the necrotic. Annika takes the necrotic, though. It's 18. That... That was only one of my hits. Yep. We're not done yet, because here's the second. Oh, that fucked everything up. Roll damage, please. Yeah. Still doing your product door. Alright. Everyone roll 1d6 again. <laughs> God damn it, Scar! Um, so this is what Scar does. Six, two. This is Glock. Five. Oh god. Yeah. Only Furin and Annika take this damage. Ugh. 
higher we roll, the more likely. Or no. You know what? Nothing makes sense. I don't care. <laughs> makes sense to me, and it, that's all that needs to happen. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> so, in total, 16 plus 23, uh, 39. Ugh. Wait, necrotic. I uh, think I've... Which, you don't have the Wait, necrotic resistance uh, robes anymore, so that deals double to you, so that's a total of 46 ow. on top of 16. I thought I had some ability that was protecting me too, though, but I don't remember what it is, and I don't really want to look for It might be it. something that says divine protection, though, I'm not present sure. Or of protection, maybe? No, that's my saves. Well, don't cut get your damage in and just look through all of your stuff when it comes... And once yeah. you figure it out, just do that. And Scar, Gosh. what else do you have? Action Surge. Sure. I'm gonna do two more. Okay. It might have been something that I just got, and I don't know how to add things, so... Uh, 29 plus 4? Cleansing Touch, that's... Wait. Yeah, that definitely is. Another 16 to everyone? <laughs> if you roll bad? Uh, no, because you Action Surged. So it oh. only happens to Annika. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, go into a frenzy rage, so I can get it if I roll a natural twenty on the other side. It's not so I have advantage. Divine surge. And she has advantage against me now. Scott, you realize you have one more attack and action surge. I can't even find my divine health. So twenty-four. Divine sense. Divine smite. Oh, divine health. Is that uh, hit, sir? Divine health just gives you immunity uh, to disease and poison. Yeah. 20, yeah, definitely hit scare. Oh, the weakest one. Alright. That's it for Scar. Wait, where, where did she go? Oh! Oh. Second stage already. You knocked her out of her polymorph. Well, yeah. Gotta add this to turn tracker. There we go. God dang it. There we go. God damn it. There we go. And that's it for you, Scar? Yep, that's all for what I can do. Alright, Tiss, you're up. Yeah, I don't have yeah, it. How much damage was it? Hell. 46 plus 16. 46 plus 6? Jesus Christ. Necrotic damage doubles against holy figures. So that was the 16 plus 26 and double. The... Sure, yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. Fucking bullshit. <clears throat> oh. Jesus. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah that's uh, that's a lot. But uh, yep, I forgot. Uh, so I forgot to push, you know, the minus button, and uh, instead of seeing how much damage I go down, <laughs> I'm down to. <laughs> I almost thought it said I'm taking sixteen thousand damage. That would have not been good. No kidding. This fucking calculator doesn't. Reset after you do one calculation. I didn't. Uh, just remember, it's God, you're dealing more damage to me than anyone in this game ever has. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I'm pulling this. I'm gonna stab you in the dick if and you do that that's again. That's the extent of my movement. You can shoot for this base and it'll still go that way. Because, uh, yeah, when Fearnan. He did magic, so that's why I got reflected back to him. Uh. Uh, wait, did she just turn into a... She turned yeah. into a dragon. Okay. She got knocked out of her polymorph. Oh. Uh. Mages don't have a lot of health. Thanks to Scar. Don't oh, fuck you, Scar. <laughs> hey, hey, it's only going in your temporary hit points. You're fine. <laughs> I'm almost out of them because of you. <laughs> uh, Artis right. can still shoot his bow and arrow through Time the space. Time to see how this will do. Uh, the only question is... Never mind, clock is another way. Yep. 
Yeah, because projectiles usually end up going through here. So. Oh, that's not it. And now I gotta close the sheet and open it. Actually, what would happen if I tried to do Dragon's Charge through this? It'll give you the same distance, it's just gonna be on the other side. Well, <laughs> this might be potentially stupid, but <laughs> I'm going to try the Dragon's Charge. I'm okay. going to try to Dragon's Charge up. <laughs> it's north. up to. It's not exactly 100. It's up to. So you can choose where to stop. Yep. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm obviously going to target Annika. <laughs> So, let's do this. 32 definitely hits. And you are now somewhere over here. I'm just going to put you in that black square and you can decide where you want to go with Dragon Stretch. One scar. So, forgot to click that then? Click what? The turn order thing? Oh, it's still your so turn. Just... What do you think? I'm talking about when Scars ended. Flame Slash, which surprisingly right, she's a does type damage of fire. Her. Which actually does damage her. Hmm. Because that's not actual flame, that's friction. <laughs> oh. Right, right. Also, will Glock need to roll 1d6? No, because like I said, you can choose where that stops. Also, Scar exhausted that dimensional magic. Ah, oh, cool. Good. For this round, anyways. Aww, I'm In sorry. other words, so... once it comes back to my turn, it's back. <laughs> well, once it comes back to her turn, it's back. Ah. So I can't cheat my way over there like they did? Unfortunately, <laughs> no. God damn it, you guys! I, I was gonna say... I was gonna say... I, I actually did have a bit of a question. Go ahead. So, Aritus can warp to Firnin and Kamala whenever he wants, right? Yeah. Would the be... inverse be possible as well? You can always try. Would they be able to warp to him? I mean, I think he means can I warp to hit to Aritus? <laughs> what would you, would you like to use your free action to try and grab Firnin into your space? That was completely by accident. I have no idea how the fuck that happened, but every single one except for the middle hit. <laughs> that was, those were just three misclicks. <laughs> well, that happened. I would like our just like to drag Fjorn into where he is. Yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> okay, you focus. You focus. You focus. You do none of the work. Hibiki, Hibiki does all the work, and Fjernan is now in front of a fucking giant pink dragon as Aritus throws him into an available space. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. That, it that's, worked. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dragon. Okay, so Wade, do you want those random rolled... Attacks to go or no? Because <laughs> you have like two. Extra I mean, attacks. I was gonna use those. Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna use those attacks anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. Hino Adachi. I was planning on attacking with the Odachi anyway. You can click the thirty-three and thirty-four because you technically so. have four attacks in a single round. 
I thought Dragon's Charge counted as an attack. It does, but you have like four attacks in a single round. That's four in total. Damn. Yep. Because yeah. because he got an extra one from a different boon. Okay, that wasn't. Out. I had to go back in like I think two years worth of videos to find that nugget. Twenty nine in total. Oh right, I think it it was, wasn't it a? Uh, it was a man at arms boon. No, it was a different one next to man at arms. But I can't. Oh no, it just gave you an extra attack. That's what happened. It literally was just as an extra attack from the boons list. That's what I read. I think it was, but that was two years ago. Oh. That was a long <laughs> ass time ago, but that was two years with the videos. The at one survived the fucking wiping of the other hard drive, which is hilarious to me. Alright. And is that it, Aritis? Or Interesting. Would you like. Can you do anything with bonus? Follow up bite. I mean, I might as well try. You bite the str. Misses by three. Nope. Misses by three. <laughs> and I think that's it. Aritis. That's how the robot pronounces it. I had to put the actual word yep. fear for fear nen, and I had to put a dash between fear and then nen for that to work. How was it saying it? Fear nen. That's how it's saying that. Before it was I mean, saying fire nen for some reason. I mean, it is fear nen, but <laughs> fear nen's easier to say. Since all of you are literally right there. Which I don't think she was expecting us to figure it out so quickly. Uh, literally, oh 90 God. foot cone. As soon as she moves back just a little bit, you see her tail protrude out here somewhere. <laughs> Everyone, Seven, please roll a dex. Oh, not Dex area. Con save of 24 to take only half. Um, can I? Then we're do all within 10 feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're uh, all no, that just up your AC. AC. So everyone no, so gets to add plus matter. 10 to your stuff, so let's see. Everyone roll a constitution saving throw. Con save! This is for Glock. 18 uh, for Glock. So 35 for me. <laughs> 33 for me. Scar Nat one. Oh no! That, sir, is karma. Look at Scar. <laughs> I, I, I deserve it. Lucky D20 Scar. Oh, uh, yeah, yep, yep. It, it's a coming. 12. Is that, is that, that's the. Uh... It's within six. <laughs> <laughs> He's off by one, you the poor bastard. Damage is doubled. Uh, okay, uh, how much so damage was that? 140? 140 for Scar. Glock, unfortunately, also takes 70 worth of that, and those two are caught on pink fire. Wait a minute! Uh, pink fire is a special fire, isn't it? Yes. God damn it! All th Wait. Uh... So glad I can use those icons. <laughs> So I'm assuming the shield wasn't casted at all. Yeah, yeah, because it wasn't going to do anything. <laughs> it just adds plus five to AC. <laughs> all right. Uh, does this roll damage? I'm just double checking this week. Okay. Okay, that procs <coughs> at the start of her next turn. And Jesus Christ, that's a low amount of damage. Why did it roll four of them? That's weird. Okay. And as far as everything else goes... Spatial magic is <laughs> back. Special magic does not come back. Oh. Instead...
God damn it. <laughs> Hell did it go? Oh, it was way up here. I mean, we know her tail is protruding somewhere over. <laughs> uh, wait, I have I have immunity oh. to fire of any kind except void flames. Um, so these void flames. Um, Vernon. What's that say? Heath burn. Come back to the map. No, look at the platforms. Oh uh, shit! I'm on the character sheet. <laughs> What the f- why are there so many scars? Look at the map. Why are there so many scars? Oh no. All the scars look really confused, all of them wearing different clothes, all of them looking different, all of them very confused, and both- all of them holding the head of Fjernan and the yellow tail of Aritas. Uh... They all say, where am uh, I, in unison. I look at Fiona and Ari kids. I didn't do this. I don't think there's any world where I would let myself be killed by you anyway. This is an illusion. <laughs> I hope. Then they start getting sucked in the middle for some weird reason. They all scream, WHY?! I don't think she knows Make about- Make a giant scar! <laughs> They don't- she shouldn't know about the giant time shenanigans, should she? And then a giant- Yep, it's a fucking big scar! Giant scar, with a tiny black hole in the stomach, is looking around, very confused. But he sees another Furnan in Aritas, and then he sees another scar. He's not coming for all of you. Furnan, it's not your turn. Of course it is. Also, uh, that thinks that I'm immune to fire of any kind except void flames. Are these void flames? No. Nah, then I'll have to worry about them. Cool. Uh, well, this is, uh, some bullshit! And, uh, I had ideas, but th that, 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 this fucker here, uh, I'm not worried. One problem at a uh, time. Deal with the pink dragon. You guys you know focus I'm, on I'm Anika. Gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna... You guys focus on I'm Anika. Gonna, I'll I'm, handle you know him. What? Cool, cool. Uh, so, um, you know what? I bought these for this fight, so I'm using one of them just to see how much they help us. Boop. And that didn't work. Uh, so I'm trying to use one of my holy healing potions. <laughs> did, you, did you just literally click the text inside the item box that has no description bubble? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, I'm, ass I'm assuming you wrote down the amount in the notebook. 5d12 plus 25. <laughs> and for you, they, but go, we also... they go into temp. Yeah. So... 5... Do you just D throw that potion to the ground? <laughs> um... I crack it over my head, I guess. <laughs> you just crack it over your... Okay. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna work. The lady even said she doesn't even know if they're gonna be more powerful or weaker than, uh... When she was affected, uh, you know, I'm just gonna do the 5 D. Wait, I already forgot the not. God damn it. 5 D12 plus 25. Okay. I almost did 5 D12 plus 10 like an idiot. Just. No oh, way, that's bonus there action. We... For potion. 5 D12 plus 25. Okay. So it'd be here. Northern hey. end of the island. So I get 59 there. bonus. No, you get and 118 bonus. Damn! As well as Scar, it. Glock, and unfortunately Arches at a range. Wall. 230. God damn it, calculator! I would love to have 69,000 health, but I feel like that would be unfair. <laughs> 118. So. I almost got here. all of my temp HP back. <laughs> Uh, All right, here. not for attacks. And All right, I'm guessing I'm right next to her. Would that path work? Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go right here. Actually, it's the middle of the grassy field that would send you back here. So you can just take off that extra bit of square at the end of the grassy field. Well, well I'm trying to find a possible path for, for one of my next turn. Uh, not for my next turn. Club of Meteor, in an enclosed space. At 27. 
Alright. <laughs> it's a giant ass dragon with time bullshit. <laughs> Things are warping around. I'm kinda hoping some of them hit the scar. You're gonna whack it? <laughs> I'm gonna, shins? I am going to try to t-ball a dragon into a giant scar, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> it would be hilarious if that worked, but I doubt that- Do I get to click damage? No. Yes, please. Her AC is 22, so... Wow, that is... So, you know what uh, you wanted to happen? Medium. Yes. <laughs> I yell, she kidnapped oh. our wife! <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> and... Kaboom. And <laughs> right off the head! Oh my god! <laughs> so... <laughs> would this be a ring Dude, out? Was that a ring out?! No, you sent them into the void of space and time. Uh... That's why he yelled, she kidnapped her wife. Hopefully, they take care of each other. Is that a win? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, the appearance of scars happened, and I remembered that I said that the dimensional magic does not go off, so what you <coughs> just did broke... Well, the walls were broken, so you did that while the walls were broken. So... <laughs> that also disabled gravity at the same time. So... Yeah. There... there they're they're floating off. They're just <laughs> And the moment they end up hitting the star, which is about they're a good, just looking fear. It's a good long ass time. So uh Artis, uh I th you may have yeeted a dragon <laughs> into the atmosphere, but I think I just yeeted a dragon and a giant scar into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do we escape now? <laughs> I mean, he's got the music playing for a reason. <laughs> he's gonna tell us. <laughs> so, both Annika and that scar crash into a sun. And you guys are now just standing in the thing with... Oh no, very supernova. Sh very shitty confetti just falling down from the sky. Or whatever <laughs> counts as a sky in this dimensional box that you guys are in and Lucas is just staring at all of you with his eyes just blinking slowly as he's holding as he's holding Pop like an actual toy dog in his arms just also just staring at all of you but not with with an uninteresting look Lucas is very surprised at the whole scenario Pop could, could give less a shit Pop probably knows what we're capable of already <laughs> And it's just like, huh? Wonder how the crowd's reacting to this. We cut to the crowd where <clears throat> Sophie and Z are holding their ears, and as they all, the whole crowd is just cheering because the whole crowd is a bunch of fucking dwarves. <laughs> so it's just cacophony and pod cacophony of dwarves cheering for violence. And as soon as they see two dragonoids hit a sun, that is the most ultimate pinnacle of violence for them. So, raw. <laughs> the dimensional space then closes. Well, that happened. Right? You guys managed to- Ah, it's Super Saiyan G! <laughs> hey, my bit one! <laughs> he was okay. Now it's a Super Saiyan Fiernan. Well, no, I can't get rid of the Super Saiyan rings. <laughs> I maybe I can. Don't try to, because you may end up deleting something else that you shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one that drew that stuff. That's why I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys are just now standing in a random. Uh, what was it? A random room of like brick, concrete, no lights, pretty dim, but there is like braziers with fire on top of them. Annika is standing in front of all of you guys in human form. She is holding a. What was it? That mutated scar thing, and then she just yeah. crushes. Because sh she shrunk it down to about pocket size, 
She holds it with her hands, and then she crushes that scar. It dies. Scar, you absorb something. Roll a d100. Can I? Yeah, I, I want that. Give me that. <laughs> 99! Oh, Watch it be a bad thing. Okay. Scar, you turn pink. <laughs> Scar is now a pink dragon. I look at Enika. Spirited looks at you. Huh, now if you piss me off, I can yeet you into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen a pink dragon born in my life. This is the first time I've ever been pink. Honestly, with him, I'm not surprised at anything anymore. <laughs> The scar then shakes a little bit and sneezes, and he turns back to red. Scar now has Aww. the dragon breath weapon of, what was it, the hearth breath. Even Eesh. though I misspelt it and spelt it heath breath for some reason. <laughs> so if I burn something, I could then heal from its burn? Nah, he got heath breath. He had too many goddamn heath bars. <laughs> uh, hearth breath. Which basically means you've already experienced the Turbulence that is love, so you can actually heal people or harm them using pink fire. Okay. It's gonna be reduced for the half dragon thing, so give me some, some time. Uh, gotcha. Some time to figure out, how to fucking reorganize that breath. So, congratulations <laughs> on winning. You guys can take your pick of prizes. Just follow me. And Annika starts leading you guys out of and the arena oh. stuff. I'm sorry, did you say something, Scar? I didn't. I, that was fear. No, I, I said I follow. Okay. Everyone follows. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow her. Annika <sighs> goes through the doorway. Scar goes through the doorway. Fjernan goes through the doorway. Artis goes through the doorway. Glock trips through the doorway. <laughs> God damn it, Glock. There we go. I just also sort of realized Gar made a bet with the fates and won. Yes, he, I did. He didn't win. Yes, I did. You bet on two. Since you rolled that low intelligence check, you failed to realize what your bet actually meant. I bet that Fernand would win. He won. At round two. <laughs> that was round two. That was round three. Was I was the start of the second round! I only had two turns! I know. Yeah. He wasn't supposed to win round three. He was supposed to lose that round. So your bet... Oh, you meant the third fight! Yeah, the third fight. That, that was the round. So your bet got cancelled out, and the wish that you bet is now gone, which was just the... What was it? The one in Kamala's pocket? No, the one that was uh, a ticket. Oh, right, right, right. The one step to wish. At least I think that's what you bet. Did you bet that, Scar? Yeah. Yeah, I think he bet the ticket. Yeah. So, yeah, Scar lost his bet. Because he was supposed to make you lose in round three. <laughs> but the intelligence check did and not. And he almost did! <laughs> And then I decided to go yeet. Just, just imagine what would have happened if Scar attacked Fjordan just to get him to lose that match. Fjordan would have uh, done some things to Scar. <laughs> I don't think Scar would have gone through it. Would you have? I don't know. I can't confirm or deny anything. <laughs> that, that means yes. <laughs> Remembers all the times I threw him off a cliff in Borderlands. <laughs> Heroes. <laughs> Minus two scar. There we go. <sighs> oh, I think I picked the wrong song for this. 
Uh, oh, nope, it's this one. As you guys walk for that one door where you were led by Annika, I made this too loud! Here we go. You guys end up coming back to this familiar casino style chamber that none of you have seen except for Scar. I just realized that now. Mm. But everyone is there except for Annika and Glock. In Glock's place, there is Zimis. Zimis is currently frozen in an icicle for some weird reason. Oh, weird. Hey, if you should go sit next to him so you can melt him. He might be like that for a reason, though. Maybe he wants to be an icicle. As you guys look over to him in the icicle, you see that he's moving his head within it. That means he's currently <laughs> sleeping for some reason. Okay, that's just how he sleeps. He must be comfy. So as you guys come in this casino style chamber, you guys end up looking for the people that probably dragged you here, and you guys end up seeing seven copies of each of them. You see seven A's. You see seven G's. You see the seven A's looking at a weird chalkboard that's made of a ethereal red something. They have a line through it. They're arguing about timelines and other bullshit that you guys can't really understand, except for maybe Thiernan, which is in Celestial. Do you have Celestial? Ooh. I do have Celestial. Yeah, so they're, they're talking about the broken timeline that's being <clears throat> shot back and forth from one point to another. Then you have G's that are looking over an inventory of cards that end up, um, let's see, splitting and reconverging to a single card. Or from and going to a single card. All of them just sigh in the collective. And then, as you guys try to look for M, which is the guy that ended up doing most of the talking, you see seven of him dodging hands being thrown by a familiar Marcio Drago in his 25-year-old form. <laughs> what do you guys oh. do in this room? What this... So we got dragged here before making it to the reward room, or this is the reward room? Making it to the reward room. Ah, so we just got popped here. Okay, um... We just lost half the party. That's fine. Uh, so is there a reason we were pulled here? Seven of you say that same phrase in time. What the I feel like this is a problem. <laughs> Same thing, seven times over. Oh, how you doing, buddy? Uh, scar is your, your scar your ears ring because of blind sense of seven of you saying that at once. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do in this Hello. room? Hello. Yernan is afraid to talk now. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. <sighs> God. Uh, I really wish I would stop bringing the kids whenever we have a session. <laughs> oh. I thought you were making a joke. You're being serious. <laughs> oh, fuck my nose. <sighs> Fiernan just, like, taps on Artis's shoulder. It's to, like, be like, you need to do the talking, because I do not want to hear myself seven times. As you go to touch Artis' shoulder, you touch the mini Artis' shoulder. You see a mini Artis? Yeah. What the? And then the real Artis is on the other side. Out of character. Hang on a moment. I gotta close some things down so they don't use as much bandwidth. I will forego the seven times talking if you want to do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I, I just, yeah, I, I repeat the question. Just well, it's because I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure that yeah. to basically keep roboting on my end as minimal as possible. Yeah, we understand. It sucks when family fucking decides well, to do something. again. Okay, Wi Fi hotspots on my phone. Where the fuck is it? Mm 
do 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 uh oh uh, what's what's happening uh wade left he's, he's fixing stuff yeah, he's fixing stuff because of bandwidth attempt and now he's back yeah okay can you guys hear me yep. yeah Yeah, I had to turn so that felt things. Yeah. Uh I think that made it worse. I don't think it, it was fine before. Uh it's just probably more bandwidth being taken away from something else. That was painful. Uh, uh, no. Uh, we gotta call a bathroom break because I really need to go. That right. works. Bathroom break, go get water. Ah! Gives, gives him time to do the things to yeah, try and. We'll be right back. I'm, I'm also, I am also going to tinkle. Scar behave. Oh, come on. Really? I have my phone right on the laptop. Or is Scar just being quiet? Fiernan back. Welcome back, Fiernan.
Wade must have it really bad. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it stabilizes. Well, it's because his cousins are there, and, you know, they just don't give a single shit about, you know, plans. They're also children. Yeah. I'm back. Which is why he said he wishes they wouldn't bring the kids when we have sessions. <laughs> Make sure my Remember? Okay, yeah. Next one. Wondering if... No, I'm not sure if it's out there yet or not. Wonder if they can go for Starlink at all. Because that's a oh, better satellite oh. internet service. Right. Because it's coming into my area well, next year. Oh. Oh. I thought I heard Edge him. Wireless is installing fiber optics. Yay, it's stabilized. We hear you! Oh! So my Wi-Fi hotspot didn't fucking work at all. <laughs> yeah, we, we hear you loud and clear now, but whatever you were doing, it was a million times worse. <laughs> I was using my phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. Because, yeah, you know, it didn't use up any bandwidth in the house. Me. I remember using it on the PlayStation 4, and that was not a good idea. No. The... So it seems like no matter what, I'm going to hear roboting on my end until Edge Wireless comes in. Hey, sorry. It's not your guys' fault, it's my fucking internet's fault. Yep. This is what happens you, uh... when you order satellite internet Oof, in a yeah. forested area. Not to uh, rush you or remind you or anything, Rage, but have you uh, had uh, is there any update on that concept art? I haven't worked on anything D&D so, &D related for three weeks. Alright. All good, man. Take your time. I was working on the Magic and Monster Work stuff that entire time and let me tell you that I am very happy with how it's turning out, despite the fact I broke down one time. And that well, was over I'm the art. Glad you're happy. Glad you're happy with it then. That was over the art. That's what I told you. I deleted multiple different yeah. breaks. I Oof. had that one breakdown at work and just deleted everything. <laughs> Clean slate. And now I realize I may have deleted a concept art for something for that series. Hershey's well, urgently hiring now in our area. Well, they better not hire John. <laughs> You've already made this joke before. Have I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Last year. <laughs> at the same fucking time. I, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Hershey's hiring. Right, it's not a so... joke. It's an actual thing that's going on right now. <laughs> no, he did the same thing last year. That's not surprising. Alright. Back from break. It's... Yep. Ten minutes later. Eh, some people take hour breaks. Well, Fjordan was about to reach out to something or someone. Okay, uh, um, just kind of asking in their direction where we pulled here for a reason, or well, real quick, I'm gonna cut in. I'm asked to tell you, shame on you, Omni. She wanted the watch. Because we are recording, not uh, streaming it. This is the DM's fault, because he's the one that controls the stream. That's my fault. I understand that, but that's who she's blaming it on. <laughs> I am the one who has in full control of the majority of the stream, which is hilarious. <laughs> Look, I made the page. I'm the owner of the page. That's it. I'm like the guy at the top that does none of the work, okay? <laughs> you do, like, I think 5% of your own work, honestly. I know. I try to sometimes, and then it's just like, I, I don't have the time. The energy just goes out, okay. So, uh, I may not be able to leave and rejoin the VC because Discord on both versions is taking forever to load. Well, we oh, still no. hear you, which is the plus. I have experienced that before, and I know it's a pain in the butt. Yes, but when the session ends, I won't be able to leave the call. I think the last time that happened to me, I just turned off the computer. 
Yeah. And restarted my phone because it happened on both devices once to me. That's fine. I gotta un uninstall a lot of things because it's making my computer slow. Uh, once you save up enough cash, I'll take a computer shopping lid because there's a bunch of them on sale for 300. Good ones, too. I did hear a single word that you said. Bacaw. He, he said, uh, computer shopping, like he's going to take you, and that there, there's a bunch of good ones. When money is... A, yeah, you know, not probably none issue. of which are in my budget, because I still got to... Because I still got to also work on looking for a car. That's never fun. It never is. I still gotta pay off. Well, mine. it's because on the third week. Did he just finally leave in the middle of that? I think he did. <laughs> I bet he's annoyed. Yep. For good reason. And I think that got a bit too personal for this, and I don't want it. I'm just gonna yeah. put it raw, so fuck it. No. Not that many people watch their streams, but since we're getting. This will be the 80th video on that channel, so. YouTube is about to start throwing shit out there. Sir, so, did you guys hear what I said earlier? You cut out at three weeks when the Discord finally booted you. Yeah. On the third week of August, my grandparents may or may not be joining my uncle in going to California. California, the I... worst place in the world. <laughs> it's bad for a lot of different reasons. We, I'm making a puff and I need to find joke. a car before then so I can drive myself to work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, well, let's get back to this mess of whatever we're doing right now. If you're gonna ask the question, everyone looks to their wrist and you guys see a white thread holding all of you. Someone dragged you here. It wasn't them. I follow the white thread. You follow it to Marzio Drago, who is currently trying to throw several different types of haymakers at M. Which is the gold one. Or the yellow one. Or if you want to take it. So, uh... What's the fight about? <laughs> this lazy ass doesn't want to fix shit! As what Marcio I mean, says to M, and then M says, I can't fix anything that I'm not a part of. <laughs> and Marcio just um, says bullshit. We are working on fixing it. Uh, especially because it's entirely his fault. And I point at Scar. I don't know what you're talking about. Marcio points I was it's both there! Your <laughs> In my defense, I never intended for it to be this bad. No one, one ever does! Spiraled, <laughs> no one ever does! I entered the world once the same way! <laughs> well, we're trying to fix it! You've also got to remember... You guys have also got to remember... We wouldn't be in this world for the first place if it wasn't for fucking Jeff. True. True. Yeah, he has his own issues. Well, Marzo just continues throwing hair makers here and there. <coughs> what do you guys do for the meantime? Um, I mean, he's the one that pulled us here, so uh, what, 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 what do you want of us? <laughs> I want you guys to figure out how you can fix the timeline without the help of gods. As he continues without to throw punches the help at of gods? Him, without the help of gods, as M as. Marzio starts throwing punches at all of his uh, seven different bodies. <laughs> States that the goddess of clockwork and her little angel have now refused to fix what they broke. And if chosen to abstain from everything regarding this timeline and want... <clears throat> will wait for it to collapse and restart, is what they said. So Are Aramenta and it, Goldie basically just abandon the timeline. The actual goddess of time itself uh, is currently occupied with different things. Like creating new worlds. And time. Mm -hmm. That 
Didn't we already have a plan, Scar? <laughs> no. Well, we, not for no, that. Not. not for that. Yeah, um, that's about my pay grade. Scar, the pay is we don't die. <laughs> the world doesn't end. I mean, if they're creating new worlds, why can't we just go to the new world with a wish spell? Because you guys you? disintegrate to dust. That's what the issue is right now. March, let's continue punching them. Yeah, yeah, that, what what he said. Even Do you even not I understand have... what that means, Scar? Yes, it means it death means to us all. It means we death will my wife. cease to... Uh, Excuse me. Not only that, it will be as if we never existed in the first place. I would like to point out that Fjordan just burped in the middle of the entire speech. <laughs> that was out of character! I wanted to be in, though. It would have been so funny. <laughs> Fine, it's in character. <laughs> yes, I understand. Sorry, good uh, comment. We Gets would not asked. exist. Everything we've done would not have happened, and it's all still just fault. F Fearden just raises his hand with one finger up. Like, it's okay, they, so they don't want to help. C can they at least tell us what we can do? Can you reach them? That is the uh, issue. Uh, because I, 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 Marcio I was has... referring to him, who is current. <laughs> He's fighting and doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> Uh, Martu doesn't have any Wait a contact moment. with the goddess of time or the goddess of clockwork. M will states this. Wait thing. a moment. What about that kinku? M said something. Did did M say wait a moment or was that the DM saying wait a moment? That was weird. <laughs> that was me saying wait. Uh oh, wait a moment. <laughs> what kinku? Clank. I think he's either referring to Clank or something else. Oh, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna walk away and go towards Red and try to figure out what he's doing on the fucking drawings. Bearden will try to ask Ed if he Mike stop the, working for a moment. Okay. Also, yep. yes, I interject and make blank. Yeah. Because I specifically remember you, Rage, telling me that Clank was higher up in the order. <laughs> you guys could try and get him in here. Do I need to go get him? Do we even remember where... Do we know where he is? He's somewhere in the city. And since the festival just ended, he may have been watching it, so... Scar, do you want to go get him? Yeah, I poof back. I don't know if I can get back here, but I try. You poof back to where you think Clank would be, so you just are at the exit of the multi-arena area. Clank does walk out. You just straight up kidnap him. <laughs> I go, Clank, we How need you. I grab his shoulder and go, let's go. And now Clank is in this space, very confused, uh, staring at different things. What? What is going on? Uh, shit's broken and we need help. How exactly? Uh, Fearnit! You got this, uh, you know what music related this smart thing. I just was wondering if you could contact the gods of... I already forgot. Clockwork. Time and space. Clockwork. Cl clockwork, yeah. Hmm. Well, I am still connected to connected to it through my through my watch, so shouldn't be too hard. Would you be so kind as to ask them if they would at least tell us what we can do to try to save our own skin, since. Uh, well, uh, basically, they gave up. we all gonna die if we don't. <laughs> Clank doesn't even make a religion check at all, either. <laughs> all he has to do is just click his watch. He's in the god space, so. Yep, click. Click. See the face I'm of our... I'm still holding Do I go with him? He doesn't go to her. Oh, okay. It's just, just an image of her displayed on his clock. Her ah. Pocket watch. 
Well, you guys just hear his random robot noises. All right, so what's this about you giving up on the timeline? We're just going to wait for it to collapse and fix itself after. You do realize that means that you will cease to exist because when and will because the order will cease to exist. No, it will not because there's multiple worlds. It's just that this timeline will end and fix itself later. Yes, but you do realize that these three that these three fireboys are actually trying to actively fix the timeline. Show me to them. Uh, I wave. I turn the watch over to the. I turn the watch over to the three. You guys only hear robot noises. Clank is the only one who can actually talk to Araminta, and you guys are staring at a weird doll thing that's made of cogs. You may not turn Wait, me back. <clears throat> so, Clank can turn Armata back to him. As Armata will continue to speak, there is yep. one method that only one of them is capable of doing, and that is Quetzalcoatl. So, so these three are going to have to seek out the Winged Serpent then, All right? Yes, but you were not the <clears throat> not the winged serpent per se, but the actual. No, I'm stupid. That is what exactly what it is. My brain is broken. That is what is happening. <laughs> so good luck attempting to find that one, as it's that one hops from world to world whenever they fancy. Hmm. Well, since. They are... I mean... I think the lizard boy over there might be able to act as a sort of beacon. What about me? Lizard boy, not dragon boy. Oh. <laughs> it's up to you. Well, up to them anyways, yeah. Whether they can find him or not. I'm actually assuming, is Clank translating this for the rest of the party, or is Clank keeping it to himself for right now? Oh, he's translating. Oh, no, thank God. Religion uh, check so many... for everyone! Because <laughs> they have all heard tales of Quetzalcoatl. In one way or another. Uh, do, 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 click. Uh, I'll do the religious check, wow. then I'm going to ask. So he's like me? I, I can bounce anywhere I want. That's a 12. What about a 2? It's another 12 and a 16. What the... F <laughs> I got to refresh because the chat is not loading. Okay. But you got a 12, just to let you know. The cigar. It seems like you're the only one that's heard of Quetzalcoatl, and it was not a good experience for you, because you actually met the former god in person. I think I've met that person. He yeeted you across time and space and sent you to a different planet. Yeah. You managed to get back because of your claws. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantasy Mexico, indeed. <laughs> Another one of those level encounters. He would have put his hand to his head. God, I mean, so come on. We've talked to. So, I've talked so, to your so, god. I've talked to my god. So actual, What's so hard about making and talk to this god? The difference is this god is can literally encompass the sky with his, his tail alone. His head is the size of three mountains. His wings are the size of the ocean. No. Good luck. <laughs> Trying to get somebody of that stature to get an audience before you all. I had to leave and come back because it was so bad. Oh, Jesus. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Fear and history check since you read the book on the throne of fire. Ooh. Wasn't that recent too? Yep. So if it was recent, shouldn't that be advantage and uh, fuck that 10? <laughs> if you want to. Roll again. 
it was recent. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Ouch. And I have no lux. This is bullshit. <laughs> so I guess I'm keeping the ten because uh, I said advantage. Spirit, <laughs> you're literally in the realm of lux. So please roll again because that's a nat oh, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, where'd it go? That one. Why is nothing happening? Natural, Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> You're in the realm of luck! Wow, talk about turning your luck around. <laughs> A random dice roll happens behind you, Fjord, and you're very confused and you suddenly remember. Quetzalcoatl is mentioned in the Book of Throne of the Fire. He is the one that sits upon the throne. Ah. He's the one that sits upon the throne of fire. Do you have a picture? D or a drawing? Or Wait, does that mean that I could get? Because I follow... I mean, I follow the sun, but... Does that mean I'm connected to him some way? You're through Ed. The throne of fire yeah. is through Ignacio. That's what I thought. Two different celestial gods. And as far as pictures that are concerning Quetzalcoatl, all you just see is this stuck-up, as it Aztec-looking man sitting upon a chair in the book. If From the picture I've seen, he just kind of looks like a snot-nosed jerk. <laughs> Scar, from what you remember, he was pretty chill until you tried to kill him. Yeah, but uh, why? Like what? <laughs> why did you try to kill him? Evil Scar. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the image sense. and remembering back. Can I try teleporting there? So the old world? <laughs> to where I last saw that throne, so yes. That would be the old world that no longer exists! So, Scar, do you want to be teleported to a different time period entirely? These guys could be 100 years in the future, or you could be in the new campaign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Do you seriously want to go down throughout that route and accidentally kill Scar forever? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to chance. If I roll hold up, above, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a minor phoenix feather at all times that I get once per day. If I have like a piece of him, would I be able to use that to revive him He's if he dead. dies? Oscar? But if he dies, <laughs> he would just stop existing, literally. Oh. He would. But that's why I would yeah, have a He would be though. wiped from existence if he tried this. <laughs> so, that's like... why I cut off a piece of him first. Oh, okay, you're talking about that. Yeah, like I could chop it, I don't know, his tail off. I don't think that's how paracausal <laughs> natures work. Fuck my tail, take my arm. <laughs> I, go, I was trying to be nice! <laughs> hey, I want more, more of me you have, the better chance I come back. <laughs> Scar, make a dexterity saving throw as you say, take my arm. Oh no! Uh, um, I choose he, to fail. He is within. No, no, because I'm not the one. Something else is happening. Something Probably one of the other happening. scars. Nothing else is and happening. And you're within 10 feet of me, so you get the bonus. Fjordan, you see this weird, glitching, distorted dagger with a scar hand holding it coming down upon Scar's arm. Alright, well, if I see it, then I get to react to it, and therefore I uh, get in the way and block it with shield. It goes for the shield. Oh, Distorting well, I guess. The magic it... around it. Scar, oh, dexterity weird. save, please and thank you. <laughs> Did I choose to fail it? You said you choose to fail that. You choose to fail being hit by something that just ignored magic. Yeah. Why are you trying to kill yourself, Scar? I don't know that dagger's gonna kill me. I'm just thinking it's gonna take my arm off. <laughs> he really wants his arm to be. Why do you it? want your arm to be cut off so bad, but you choose to fail? <laughs> because I'm gonna do something stupid, and I. So yeah. Scar, as <laughs> that. That thing cuts through your arm. You feel your arm be slingshot across space and time, across different timelines. Your arm feels like it's lived several different lives, like hundreds upon hundreds of different lives that have made several different choices. Some of your arms have been scarred and burned. Others have been completely cut off from some other things. have been bitten off and regrown. That arm has experienced literally centuries worth of torture and despair and some joy here and there. And that arm falls off, and Scar, you don't remember ever having an arm after the arm falls off because you chose to fail. You are now one handed for the rest of this campaign.
so think would these him? things through. <laughs> I am thinking things through. When I choose to do this car, is <laughs> what, what he's you're not happens. considering your willing to let face. him make his own mistakes. Yeah, your yep. memory of the arm has been erased. It, next time I see a sword like that, I'm not letting it fucking touch me. You don't even remember the arm cutting you. I know, but... The thing cutting you. Yep. So yep. if you see so. it again, you don't know the effects. Exactly, but I'm not going to fucking stand still. And it's your right arm, too, by the way. I'm left-handed, so, so I don't care. <laughs> I think it's time we leave this room before something else ridiculous happens. Fiona, what are you talking about? You see your own head be served upon a platter in this room. Not, yeah, I'm leaving. Not your own thing, but you see that same scar that kidnapped Scar a long time ago with that large scar over his eye. It's a bigger and better version of him just peeking through the timeline at you. He seems to have figured something out. Uh, I stab him in the eye. You attempt to, anyways. Yes. Rolled hit. That's th Why do I even have her character sheet open? <laughs> You're thinking of her. I guess. <laughs> Not 20. Uh, I would assume that hits. Are you specifically aiming for his eye or just him in general? His eye. It's the one that isn't scarred. When you're aiming for a specific body part, it's with disadvantage. Oh, god damn it. Fine, I just hit him. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing disadvantage in this fucking space. So you smack him and the phoenix ends up going... <laughs> as he retracts in time. He takes the damage, but the phoenix is now fucked up. Oh, no. Your phoenix blade is no longer usable for the rest of this campaign. Great! Until you can figure out the I mindset. think we should get out of here yeah, before yeah, anything leave. else happens. Yeah, let's go. Um, how do we leave? There's a door literally behind you guys. I go out the fucking door. Uh, follow. As you guys hear this, as you guys leave, the race to Quetzalcoatl has begun. May the better timeline become prime. Really? So now it's a so race against our own when you existence. Fuck a timeline, Scar. I didn't do anything to the timeline. So, Scar, here's what happens without being one-handed. You now permanently put yourself in disadvantage because of that. <laughs> in combat. In combat. Yep. Just letting you know the consequences. That's fine. Is it fine? Going no. to... I'll. Yeah, it's my choice. I've done it. I'll suffer the consequences. Have you done this before in a different campaign? Huh? Have you ever cut off your own body part that was permanently gone? In a campaign before? No. No. This will be. This is the first time. This will be interesting. Right. Oh, wait, sessions over. I mean, we had to give. I mean. No. Wait. Does Scar still <sighs> have those tickets for that magic shop? Yes. Not for the magic shop is for one step to wish. He still has those. Well, I should write in my notes that I need to fix my fucking sword. And I need to wish it for an arm. Well, Fiernan. Maybe, maybe I can get a mechanical arm. <laughs> well, Fiernan, be I, glad I we don't have to, to do. deal with this idiot scene in the next campaign. <laughs> no, what, what are you about? Might be, you might be dealing with his idiot scene in the next campaign, actually. It just won't affect you guys. In TSE? Yeah, because he's in that world, too, but just in a different continent. Yeah, I'm there. I not specifically yet. remember being uh, split into two groups. Yeah, he's in the other one. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. world. Different Meaning continent. that. So what he means is crossover like we did with the uh, yeah. Jade of Embers crew for a while. <laughs> At some point. And it's not Scar you have to deal At with. At some so. point, but it, but it won't be for a while. So. Yeah. It's still you. You say it like I'm bad. You're still going to end up doing something stupid. You I'm have playing... a track record of doing stupid shit. I'm playing my character the way my character would act. 
I mean, I apparently did something stupid too, though I did not think it just was. your not just your character. I'm talking about your other characters as well. I didn't love them like need. I, love I remind you that we had to amputate Jeff's foot. That was. I mean, we need that was a gangry need... mistake that went on for way too long. <laughs> we need to uh, amputate J uh, Jeff. Yeah, because he decided to shoot a lock. Yeah, he shot himself in the foot after that, and that's the most hilarious thing ever. Oh. Yeah, I have a gun on Scar and have yet to shoot it. It's still... <laughs> no, uh, the memory of that was pretty fucking funny. Cause it's whole still an example happened. of... <sighs> yeah, I think we all had to pin him down just so that way we could get a clean cut. No, look, Scar is great for anything that's funny. That's why I love him so much. I don't care what the mistakes he makes, just as long as he accepts the consequences of no fucking happening. And he accepts yep. them well. <sighs> now, as for the robotic arm, you have two people to go for that, so it's up to you who you want to get it made by. And as for the Phoenix Sword, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I had a feeling you're going to try to nerf that somehow at some point. I wasn't <laughs> attempting to nerf that, it's just the, the effect that happens around that scar and that dagger. <sighs> So it's not even the room, it was just that Scar. Wow, okay. God damn it, Scar, you had to be a fucking endgame level boss, didn't you? That's what he wanted. <laughs> yes, it is. That's what he wanted I... the whole party to fight against. And I made it happen. In the worst way possible. <laughs> so I'm also assuming Artist drags Zimus out of the room, too. I would assume and Clank. so. What? And Clank as well. Oh yeah, you were robot in bed, but Zimmus was in there in place of. I didn't understand it. No, you're the one roboting on my end, so I can't yeah. understand a thing you're saying. He's doing it on purpose, Wade. At least right now he is. <laughs> so, um, what he's saying is, you dragged Clank and Artis out with that uh, with this. Yeah. And now Scar's roboting. Uh oh. Yay! <laughs> Why are you happy about that? I don't know. No one knows. <laughs> Scar could be literally happy about anything. He could literally cut off... Actually, that happened too many times. He cut off his own head and couldn't attach it for multiple sessions. Oh my god. And that was, yeah, he didn't die? He didn't die because nope. he was immortal during that. That immortality bullshit <laughs> was... <him laughs> that had to be weird. He was drinking... He drank the blood of a unicorn which cursed him with immortality... <laughs> And everything he ate turned to ash. So, yeah. <laughs> that was a fun curse he had to deal with. And then Glock got the Vorpal Blade, which did extra shit when he critted. And he, the first attempt with the Vorpal Blade he did on Scar critted, which was amazing. Oh. Wow. And then I had my body running around doing its own thing and my head yelling at it. Yeah. Lol. Yeah, that was a funny, like, I think, how long was that for? Like, six weeks? Yeah, something like that. It was like that, like that for six months, <laughs> but he still did shit and got some things done. Yeah, well, I still. Yeah, I use think my if I remember correctly, I had to be very careful around you because I because there were other people trying to destroy you. Yep. For doing that. Yep. There's a lot of things. Scar is one of the most decorated characters in this game for some weird reason. Not in heroics or deeds, but just the amount of shit he's done and gone through. And Clank's an uh, artificer, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yes. I'll have Clank build the arm. Uh, Over. Clank specializes in making clocks and artillery. Yeah, not to make the arms. Artillery cannon for an arm. He can build the cannon, anyways. I was going to say, I'm going to need Sophie's help <laughs> making the actual arm. That should be easy enough because I. Oh my god, we're going to turn Scar into fucking Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> I am okay with this. Oh yeah, Z gave his blessing for. Or uh, Looney gave his blessing to have Z in the other sessions if you guys want him there for heals and other shit. Which means by proxy, Sophie's going to be with him at all times. Or her at all times. Cool. Oh, oh so Z is actually not fucking up for once. 
<laughs> no, it's still fucking up in the most stupidest romantic ways possible that can go wrong in any sort of romantic comedy anime. He also what? wants me to do a comic for it, which I'm telling you. I was going to say, Sophie, for, I was going to say, Sophie, for some reason, just finds it charming. She's an evil bitch. Oh. So. <laughs> Take that for what it's worth. Not Zia, but Sophie's. So, <laughs> Sophie's an evil bitch. <laughs> and That's having funny. someone yeah. like Zia around it just boosts her ego. <laughs> It's one of those weird sadistic archetypes that a lot of people like, which I don't understand why Looney ah. likes it a lot, but... Looney so, in other it. words, Sophie is Joker and Z is Harley. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, Looney wants it to be a doujinshi, I think it was. Oh, God. Or is there another term for Yuri manga? Uh, yeah, Yuri. <laughs> doujinshi is, uh, uh, inappropriate, I believe, is the word. Mm-hmm. All I just Tempest know is this. Elden Ring. Yeah. Oh, any questions for that? Like, as I think I told only about this. It's gonna be one of those shorter ones, just depending on how long the fight lasted. I thought it was gonna last longer than that, well, but after something got fucked up, it just yeah ended. It, it snowballed. It snowballed into something bigger and bigger and bigger. So now. So I'm probably gonna have to scrap that plan then. You still have more major arcs to finish up because I think we have one more after the time stuff, and then it's end game after that. You have more time during the second one. That's what because like on yeah, the one more. Yeah, one more arc than end game, and that's my time window. Yeah, that for arc is completing that plan. The second one is the longest one. This one was gonna be the shorter one because this one. You have a time limit. The other one, you don't have a time limit. Well, we still, well, I still have a time limit, in, regardless, because on one hand, if I don't do it before the time limit, I will cease to exist. On the other, I will just, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we fail this arc, we all. That's why I said I should probably <laughs> scrap that plan then. This one is actually going to be one of the more easier arcs to complete, honestly. What was that? You roboted. It, it's going to be an easier act to complete. Not with my plan. It's the second one, which is going to be more complicated, and that one's the one I'm not going to be excited to run. That's the Void one, and that one's just going to be a headache all in itself. Ugh. Uh, You're welcome. Oh, yeah, where we, have to go, where we have to actually go into the abyss. Yeah. Seven more layers, which means seven more countryside bullshit. <laughs> Jesus. I still find it hilarious that Bowen managed to conquer all of hell. All at of, one point. All of hell, not the abyss, because the abyss was the original hell. Mm. At least according to, I think, first through third edition, uh, the abyss was the original version of the different layers of hell. And then after that, we actually had the actual different versions of... The hell. abyss is the chaotic version of hell. The abyss is the chaotic version of hell. The nine hells is the lawful. Okay. I'm not even going off standard D and D lore anymore. It's the same yeah, I thing figured as much. His fucking Quetzalcoatl being a former god was never mentioned in the Monster Manual. <laughs> that just off my own X ten. Well, that's what. Blah, blah, blah. Knock knock. Hang on. I'll take a 